2021 season has definitely shown some improvement for us. Um, of course, our expectation is to be trying to win the championship and, and fighting for wins consistently, but considering the project is in its second year with everything that's happened with COVID, I think we've, we've made some good progress for sure. Especially the last half of the season, we, we did some, some good tests in the middle of the, the year and then we've come to the last races with a better package. And I, th I think since then, Alvaro has been in the top five nearly every race. Leon also was fighting for the podium in, uh, in Porto Mose. We've definitely made some progress, but we still need to make some more. <laughs> Lap time is missing, of course, but we know with the areas where we need to work. We still have, have to improve some areas with the bike for sure. Um, a little bit in every area, basically, with electronics, engine, chassis. We know we know the areas where we can improve. So hopefully this winter we can make some adjustments. We can we can bring some some new parts to the bike, and hopefully we can have a good te good test and understand that we can be uh, hopefully nearer the podium and nearer winning races next year. The winter will be very challenging. Two new young riders and no experience in this championship on these bikes, tyres experience with anything. This is something that hopefully I can try to help them with. You know, we will have a, a very strong structure for the start of the year for testing and we will try to plan everything as best we can to give them the best opportunity to start. Of course we understand that it won't be easy but at the same time it's a motorbike at the end of the day. If they can ride one bike they should be able to adapt to another and uh, we will try to give them the best possible situation to learn as quickly as possible. The change for 2022 with the two young riders is predominantly about having some fresh blood basically you know it's easier for younger riders to adapt to uh, a new package you know having no experience in this class before we think that you know we have a good a good technicians and a good base around us that we can um, we can provide a bike and package that is competitive it's many many reasons but the main reason is we believe that they're in their potential and that they can adapt to our bike easier than having an older rider uh, try to change it into something else basically I would like to see them obviously start in a you know a calm way, build up and then start to achieve podium step by step. We would like to, to see them win races will be the plan. But also we understand this is many new circuits, many new situations for them. So it will take time for them to learn. It will take time for them to understand. Of course, we understand that it's a, a big task for them to be competitive straight away. So I would like to see a, a good progression throughout the year is what I'm looking for. When will we be able to be Competing for the championship is a good question. It's something we don't know the answer to. Obviously, we would like it to be next year. But we also understand this is a very new package still. A new bike that was released in 2020. Uh, with COVID and everything that happened, there was nearly no testing. Races was limited and also development was very limited last year. This year, we've started to, to do a lot more work with the bike. And you can see with the results, we've gone from struggling to quite consistently towards the end of the year being near the podium and, and achieving podium. So I think it's, uh, we are hoping next year of course, but also we understand this is still a, quite a new package and that it will take some time to develop.